Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the independent and dependent variables. So when say dependent variables depends on other variable or factors, it is something that is influenced and affected. So ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin dependent variable, it is the effect or the outcome. So dependent variables are what researchers are interested in. They depend on the uh, other factors or for example, a test score could be dependent variable because it could change depending on several factors such as how much you studied, how much you sleep, you get right before you took the test or even how hungry you were when you took it. So again, dependent variables, ito yung outcome or effect. Nakadepende siya sa mga factors or sa mga variables na pwede siyang maapektuhan. Independent variables affects the dependent variables. It is something you have control over, one which you can choose and manipulate. However, in some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent variables. So when you say independent variables, so ito yung cause or the reason behind changes. So, siya naman yung mga factors na nakaka-apekto doon sa magiging outcome natin or doon sa magiging epekto nung minimeasure natin. So, for example, the researcher wants to determine the effects of use of social media in the academic performance of students in mathematics. So, what will be the independent variable and dependent variable? Of course, yung independent variable natin yun yung use of social media and then yung dependent variable natin yung academic performance kasi yun yung tinitingnan natin tinitingnan natin kung gaano nakaka-apekto yung paggamit ng social media sa magiging academic performance nila kung baga nakadepende yung magiging outcome ng academic performance natin dun sa paggamit natin ng social media kasi minsan di ba sa paggamit ng social media nandyan yung Uh, kulang yung tulog mo okay uh, nababawasan yung study time mo so maaring maapektuhan yung academic performance natin another example so independent variables the number of hours studying for a test and then the test score so kagaya rin ng nabanggit ko kanina no? so pag nagtitake tayo ng test so pwede yung yun yung pinaka outcome natin yung result dun sa yung score natin sa test. So, ano yung mga factors na pwede maka-apekto? That is independent variables. So, kagaya nga yung numbers of hours ng pag-re-review uh, pag mo or yung tulog mo, maraming factors na pwede maka-apekto doon sa magiging score mo sa test. So, test score depends on the number of hours studying for a test. Another So, let's say yung independent variable natin is the kilowatts used in a household and then the dependent variable is the electricity bill. So, electricity bill depends on the kilowatts used in a household. So, examples of correlational research. So, what is the relationship between gender and attitudes toward music piracy among adolescents? So, kukunin natin uh, yung independent and dependent variable. So, importante kasi kapag gumagawa tayo ng research, ma-identify natin kung, sino yung, kung ano yung dependent at independent variable. Doon pa lang sa title, dapat alam na natin. At doon sa research question natin, alam natin yung independent at dependent variable. So, kagaya nito, what is the relationship between gender and attitudes toward music piracy among adolescents? So, what will be independent variables? at yung dependent variable natin. So, yung independent variable natin is the gender and the dependent variables is the attitudes toward music piracy. Another example, what is the relationship between the study time and exam score among senior high school students? So, kagaya rin na nabanggit ko na kanina no, about test scores and then uh, yung study time. So, anong magiging independent variable natin? Of course, that So, ano maging independent variable natin? The study time. And the dependent variable is the exam score. So, I hope na kapag gagawa tayo ng study or ng research, 
maging ano tayo, alam na natin yung independent variable doon at dependent variable. So, tatandaan natin na yung dependent variable, siya yung outcome or effect. And then, yung independent variable naman, siya yung cause or reason ng changes. So, ito yung mga variable na makaka-apekto doon sa result, doon sa dependent variable natin. Si dependent variable naman, siya ay nakadepende doon sa mga independent variables natin. So, uh, meron tayong other kinds of variables. The control variables is a special type of independent that are measured in a study because they potentially influence the dependent variables. And of course, we have confounding variables, those that are not actually measured or observed in a study. So, according to Rigoniel of 2012, cited by Preto, it ad gives advanced this example of variables. So, meron mga pinomino na binigay si Rigoniel, like for example, the climate change. So, what are the possible variables for climate change? Sea level, temperature, the amount of carbon emission, the amount of rainfall, and for Crime and violence on streets. So, what are the possible variables? Ano yung mga pwedeng variables natin dito? Number of robberies, number of attempted martyrs, number of prisoners, number of crime victims, and number of law enforcers. Also, the number of kidnapping accidents. And for poor performance of students in college entrance exam. So, ano ba yung mga pwedeng variables natin or factors the entrance exam score yan pwede natin i-quantify yan number of hours devoted for uh, to studying student teacher ratio so isa rin yun sa titingnan natin factor baka mamaya napakarami nung estudyante tapos yung teacher iilan lang kaya mas mababa yung performance ng mga estudyante sa college entrance exam Number of students in the class, lalo na, di ba, if you are in public school, talagang madami sa isang classroom. Yung class size, minsan umaabot ng 50 to 60. Educational attainment. So, baka mamaya yung mga teacher, masyado ng, let's say, parang ang tatanda na hindi na sila nag-aral for their professional growth. So, yung practice nila, uh, yung dati pa rin. So, hindi na nila in-improve, no? Hindi na sila nag-aral ulit. Kasi ngayon, meron ng uh, pwede mo pang ituloy. Mag-masters ka, mag-doctor ka. Teaching style, yun nga, no? Kung baka mamaya, yung makalumang style pa rin yung ginagawa, eh marami na tayo ngayon, lalo na millennial. So, dapat uh, ma-adapt natin yung pagbabago na yun. Dapat ma-, ma Sabayan natin ngayon yung mga estudyante natin. So, ito yung mga variables or factors kung bakit ito yung mga pwede nating tingnan kung bakit mababa yung performance ng student ka sa college entrance exam. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Walmart channel.